guys, welcome back. Loduris here. Hope you all been doing well. Uh, it's another, well, going into the evening of another beautiful day. I figure we'll run over and sleep at the bed by the temple. I haven't done a lot of progress on it, but still, I think that's going to look amazing. I really got to go hunt for more quartz. I'm uh, currently in snapshot 14W31A. Uh, it has been crashing a fair bit. I've been holding off on recording, but. There's so many things I want to do, and I want to do with you guys, that I just... I had to record, what can I say? But yeah, I hope you've all been doing well. Uh, I figured today what we're going to do... Uh, I want the path to the temple. It's starting to look a little more finished. Even if it isn't, it's giving the illusion of being finished. So I really want to trace this path out. Oops. You may have been important one day, but not anymore. Uh, so yeah, I really want to clear this out. Like I said, I'm going to have it come along. I'm thinking, hmm. I wanted that S pattern. So I wanted to, coming out of the temple, you'd walk along. Have a path start here, and it would come along. Go off to the right, and then circle back in. Hmm. Yeah, so I'll have it come up a little. Basically, I think I gotta fill in that water pool of water there to have it come along and up. So it's it's really gonna s. It's not gonna. Oh, I suppose I could have a gentler arc maybe. Have it come between them. Come up and in. Let's let's try running it. Just see, come along. Do the arc. I could do it. It'd be a very, very gentle, gentle turn. Come along. I'd fix that area up. Yeah, it would come on an angle and then turn. Coming here. Let's use. Go there, flower. Grow and be mighty. Let's use... Oh, that was silly. Use the 64 pieces of cobble. Let's eat that. So here... Here... That was silly. Drop a block in front of you. How does that look? I actually have a... That's, that's kind of the idea that I was going for. That's So we use that as a general idea of where the path is going to go. Come along. I'm going to have to fix this, push it back a little. I'm going to try and leave this pool of water, just because I find it hilarious that it's full of chickens. And I want to try and keep the landscape as natural as possible. You know, kind of the idea of having ponds along the way. I'll probably, yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, spruce this area up a little, make it look a little better, a little more natural, maybe a little more a little more taken care of. I, I wasn't sure which way I wanted to go with the temple. I was thinking I could go uh, kind of dilapidated, give it a dilapidated look, have vines growing off of it, but I was thinking, you know, if we've got, what, I think four or five clerics in a town of maybe 25 people. 20% uh, of the population being clerics, they probably have a good... enough people they could take good care of the place, is my thought. So, I don't think it would be very dilapidated. So what we're going to do is just... Well, the, the path won't be pristine and perfect, but I mean, we'll have these little, little gardened areas here, and a little gardened area there, maybe. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I've got an idea, nothing too too flushed out, flushed out, sorry not flushed out, but yeah, I, I like that. And then that still leaves, gives us the option to, to make a road that could, actually we could have it split and it could come over here and, hmm, because so we may end up building over there in the mountains, I'm not sure yet. I have lots of ideas for things I want to build. I just don't know where to put them yet. And some of the ideas 
can't be done until we find specific biomes. So I think what I'm gonna do here, actually, you know what? I'm gonna I want to show you guys. I always cut a lot. Let's let's try and do some of this on camera and see how bad I fail at it. I brought the second shovel by the way because this one is so good. It it just it plows through all the dirt so quickly that it's hard to actually. Uh, well, hard to not make a mistake. There we go. So we're going to use the coarse dirt for the path. Like I said, I want to give the idea of a a well-trodden path, but I still want it to have some cobble and some gravel in it. I want it to... I'm thinking of it as a... a here, let's just break this. Uh, a road that is similar to this road, but in a more... I wanted to have a greater level of deterioration, so where the andesite here would be the well taken care of, the cobble, cobble would be slightly damaged, and the gravel would be more damaged sections of the road, or more well-worn. Um, instead, I'm going to be doing it with the gravel being dirt, cobble being... Uh, well cobble being the highest, so it would be uh, cobble, so cobble, granite, dirt kind of idea, if you get what I mean. It probably made no sense what I just explained, but hopefully it does. Actually, I whacked my mic there a second ago. If you guys heard it, I apologize. It may have been a little loud. Let's just put this dirt back here. Didn't pick up any grass. Good. So that's the general idea of what I have, but I don't want it to be a... Whereas the road here is very, very organized, very straight, very clean cut, I want this to meander, so I don't want it to be... I'm to look a little more organic, maybe, you know, you see paths that people travel on, you get the, the well-worn spots, so... I may leave some grass in between as well, because that, that happens, right? A, a path gets overgrown. So that's what we're going for. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I haven't thought about how to light it yet, but... Hmm. You know what I might do? I think what we'll do first is throw down all the dirt, and then we can always kind of punch holes in the dirt. Because I want it to be more dirt than anything else. Yeah, I think that's the way we're going to go. No, come back, dirt. I love you. Uh, totally got a metal shovel for this to make it faster. What do I do? Don't use the metal shovel. Classic. Uh, go there. Yeah, so like I said, I want it to meander. I don't want it to be perfect. All this nice tall grass is just gonna go missing. That's gonna suck. So yeah, I always—it's funny. I always go into creative and think these things out really well. I don't know how well that's gonna turn out right now. I hate improvising, especially on camera, because I always feel like I look dumb or something. You know, it's that on-the-spot pressure. But ah, I'm sure you guys don't judge me too harshly. Um, I mean, this is a game, so don't take it too seriously, right? Have fun. Make dumb things. Make mistakes. You may discover something new. You may discover the blocks don't like to appear. Ooh, that was kind of cool. Annoying, but cool. Um, that was a fail. Yeah, okay. I think... I want to bring this back. Uh, that's far enough away, I think. We're starting to get a little close to the pond. Hmm. Definitely would have an over uh, overhang here. Just because you can have like the water eroding away the area, which would occur 
you know, a lot of times. Uh, that looks a little too unsupported, so... Yeah... Uh, no. There we go. Yeah, I'll keep it. I like the little overhangs and things like that. It adds details to it. Go, chickens. Mm, by the way, no one called the Humane Society. Oh, I was totally going to throw it at you, and I... Boop. There we go. All right, let's... That's regular dirt. Don't mix that in. So let's just pop these guys in here. Mm, I gotta let that have grass grow in. It's still looking a little too uniform on this side. Maybe? I don't know, because I'm going to have the, the road come out this way, I think, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have it go this way and follow the shoreline, or just cut straight that way. Have it kind of V instead of L out. Um, well, regardless of anything, this... Are you even there? Are you? Nope, you are not. That was weird. And actually, doing this might not be a bad idea because it'll help me get a better idea where the path is going to go. And a chance to fall down because. I'm apparently quite special today. So yeah, I haven't been up to much, guys. Been having a... Well, no, actually I've been up to a lot. It's been a number of birthdays and housewarming parties and... been having a lot of fun. Thankfully, I, I don't know if you've realized, but I usually like to be a couple episodes ahead. Just because it buys me time in case something does come up that I... You know, un unforeseen circumstances, like, uh, internet goes out, uh... Uh, particularly busy week with uh, work or uh, just life in general. That happens sometimes. I don't know if it's a good or a bad practice to be in. I mean, I think it isn't a bad idea, but we'll see how it goes. Actually, I am going to mute my mic for a sec because I have to clear my throat and you guys probably don't want to hear it, so give me a sec. There we go, that's a little better. Sorry about that, guys. Um, hmm. Let's sleep. I don't want anything spawning. Hmm. Don't shoot me, skeleton. Thank you. That makes me very happy. I would have been very sad had you shot me. So let's see here. Oh, let's get rid of this guy before he becomes a nuisance. Hi! Sp you're dead. I was going to say sp Spider butt, but I just utterly killed you, so you don't care. Let's remove these. Don't upset my chickens! There we go. That's my job to upset them. Mm. Ooh, free shovel. Everybody loves free shovels, so... Here, you just became coarse dirt. Kind of weird too, because the <laughs> the path goes from being you know relatively straight here to an angle, so it's kind of kind of unique and fun in that respect, because you just kind of shift things like this. Let's put one here. Oh, I just thought two. Let's... Let's try and round this out a little if we can. I don't want to waste the forest dirt. Get back here. Okay, actually up here there. Mm. I think that's good. Let's... 
fill this in as well. And round it out a little. Maybe get rid of this. It's a little better angle. This isn't too bad. We're making some progress here, guys. This is this is going good. This is going good. Uh actually I have an idea. Where'd I put my crafting bench? Did I throw you back up here? I must have. I don't see it there. That or I'm crazy. Crazy isn't always not always an option with me. Never ever discount crazy. Though discount crazy is something you should go for. It's always a good deal. Uh terrible joke, by the way, on my part. Um, let's make some slabs, and then let's make some stairs. I am totally... nope, didn't crash. Thought it was going to. Uh, some stairs. I don't need seeds. Let's put you in there, and you there, and you there. Hmm. So I guess with the new banners, Oxide Daisy is going to be one of the more valuable flowers now. Yeah, I kind of like this. So what I was thinking... Because uh, unfortunately you can't make dirt slabs. That would be amazing if you could. And if I do maybe this, that's a little awkward, that, that's not too shabby. It is going to be a little funny having it every, every block here, a, a, a cobble step. I wish you could do other slabs, but you can't, so make do with what you have, but I do want it to be a smooth kind of transition up. I want you to be able to run without having to jump. Like I am now. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll... I like this path. Yeah, this is this is good. Alright, so what I'm going to do actually, because I am cutting, you got the basic idea. I'm going to get the dirt in, show you a little bit more. And hopefully it'll look good. So I'll see you guys shortly in just a sec. Welcome back, guys. So I've finished the road. Let's just take a quick look at it down here. What we have here, as you can see, I've kind of widened it out as you come towards the temple. So you get the idea that people have come over this way to check out the fires, and some people have wandered this way to check out these fires kind of idea. I kind of like it. I've also added the gravel in. I've decided I'm not going to put in the cobble. I, yeah. I'll i keep the cobble here just to break it up, but it does kind of blend in with the gravel a little. It's still noticeable because of the pattern change, but I think the, the gravel, from what I've seen, it kind of destroys the path. Uh, over here you can see I've kind of narrowed it and bottlenecked the path. It happens sometimes as the meander, right? So uh, the whole idea was to keep it natural. And it comes along, and you get back to the town, and boop, you're here. So I really like it. It's it's not perfect. It's still a little too perfectly straight, but I mean, that's going to happen. The, these are squares, right? So it's kind of unavoidable. Yeah, as we come along here, uh, instead of running the path, let's just walk it. Add some, some chicken. There we go. Uh, just come along. You get the idea that people are making a somber walk up to the temple. Oh, by the way, I finished the front of the temple. We'll take a look at that too. Uh, traveling the path towards the temple, feeling rather th somber. And they come up and they get to the temple and it's still that very awe-inspiring look to it. I'm not sure if that top ridge, I want to thicken it a little. Maybe make it look a little wider. It does look a little little goofy, but I'm not too sure right now. I'll have to see how it goes. Uh, as you can see here, what I've done, I've brought the the hillside down like I wanted to, so it comes in naturally into the temple. It isn't just a sharp edge. So it looks a, looks a little more like the temple's been fitted in, or fitted, fit into the mountain. We've got the pillars coming down. Still needs some more quartz. 
but I think this is ow a good start. I gotta finish back up there behind that pillar, but we'll work on that after. Hmm. Well, maybe not after the temple's done, but as more of the temple is completed, as we push back into the mountain and hollow it out, I'll I'll work on that. If we come up here, you can see some of the more work I've done. Just come up here, bounce, bounce, bounce. More of the grass is growing in, as you can see. A couple spots down there. Oh, one just filled in. But yeah. Basic temple is done. I'll have the, the quartz come up and meet with that. Actually, I keep looking at it and I keep forgetting. Let's, let's fill this in. Thank you. Just so we have a flush flush surface there. We come up. Again, meets up with the hillside. I'll have that, that trend continue forming a, a nice seal with the edge of the mountain there. But yeah, all in all, things are coming along in our little town quite nicely. I do, I do like the path. I wish... I wish I could get a little more regular looking, but I mean... Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of funny trying to recre purposely recreate randomness. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do while I'm away from you guys, I think, is just work on the area over here. I think... I think I'm going to use bushes to light the area up, because I, I do want to get rid of this dirt here. I want to I want to have that experience of just walking in and out of the town and not having to worry about zombies come in. Um, so I think I'm going to have to work on lighting here maybe a little over in here uh, get this area lit up back I can probably turn that maybe put a few swamp trees along here and then you know have the vines coming down but have the glow trees in them man doesn't that temple just look amazing I'll try thickening that top border while you guys are away but yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking how things are going. And actually, one of the things I'm going to do, seeing that torch in the distance light, light things up, I think I'm going to put glowstone, because it won't really work unless I put something underneath for pumpkins. But I think I'm going to put glowstone on the roof, just to keep mobs off of it and help really light it up in the background. Hi, chicken. Let's, uh... I love Death Strider, by the way, guys. Uh, we're going to come around and take a look at it just to give a better idea. A little bit of ADD there, but yeah, I love Death Strider and I love running underwater. It's just stupid, dumb fun. It it very much reminds me of uh, before you get the various suit in Metroid. I really, for any of you who've played the the Metroid series and know what I'm talking about, uh, yeah, I like that. That's going to look really good. Let's see if we can... Still haven't named these guys. Wait until I get a good name. And to, to get a name tag. That, that I will need that. That is one of the first steps I have to take, actually, before choosing a name is acquiring the name tags. Just come up here. I will take this tower down one day. One day. But not today. Um, just eat up. Take a look from a distance. Should be far enough that a bit of the fog setting in. Yeah, just got that bit of fog. Might be a little better if I was closer. Maybe there. A little more. Hmm. Let's just a little too. Hmm. A little too close there. There we go. See that's a good distance. You get the you get the glow. You get the shape of the temple. It'll look a little better when the roof goes all the way to to the back. It kind of stands out a little. But I I like that temple. I think it's I think it's a good fit. It is a little. Uh, I don't want it to be an eyesore, but. I think it's a good fit for the area. I like it. 
it's going to stay. I like it. We'll work on that more. Like I said, it's going to be a long-term project, but I, I like how it's turned out. So, yeah, everything's been going good. Our little town's shaping up. I like this. Hopefully we'll get it all done by the time 1.8 is officially released, and when it is, we'll go out exploring and start building new things. I really do want to find some green dye, because I decided I'm going to make banners for every town. I was going to make names and try and name them, but I think I'm just going to use banners to represent them. Yeah, I like that. Alrighty, well. I think we're going to call this an episode. It's been fun. We've done a lot of work. Things have gone quite well. It's been very productive. Next episode, as I totally missed that shot, next episode I have a special treat for you guys. I've been working on it while you guys haven't been around. But in the meantime, hope you guys, oops, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you with something special. So take care, stay tuned, and hope you guys enjoy. Bye-bye.